Lake Tanganyika is located in the heart of Africa. In terms of surface area, it's the second largest lake on the continent after Lake Victoria. Its depth and length make it one of the world's largest freshwater reserves. It is a unique and complex ecosystem characterized by its exceptional biodiversity on a global scale. Catchment area is located between five countries, Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a direct riparian to the lake, and Rwanda, whose Rusisi's river flows into the northern part of the lake. This eco-region counts a population of about 13 million people, with one million living directly along the shoreline. Although primarily rural, the area is undergoing rapid growth, especially in coastal cities. The lake is a permanent source of drinking water for domestic, agricultural and industrial uses. It is also a fishing area and a major navigation route. However, the area is under high pressure and faces multiple threats. Over-exploitation of fish stocks, harmful agricultural practices, deforestation, population growth, urbanisation, industrialisation, navigation, global warming and rising water levels of the lake. Over the years, erosion, sedimentation, invasive species, pollution and habitat destruction have caused severe damage to the area. How can we sustainably manage an area that is shared between several states? What can be done at the regional scale to balance between human activities, the economy and environmental protection? In 2005, a convention was signed by the lake's four Riparan states, leading to the creation of a joint management body, the Lake Tanganyika Authority. Its role is to ensure regional cooperation and sustainable management of the resources in the catchment area. One of its roles is also to implement the Latawama project. This EU-funded project, implemented by Enable and LTA, was launched at the end of 2019, with the aim to raise local awareness about the challenges faced by the lake, ensure coordination between actors in the sector, and, most importantly, sustainably improve the management of the lake and the quality control of its waters. For instance, a water quality control and monitoring system is being developed. In addition, pilot projects are underway in several cities along the shoreline. Concerning solid waste, strategic plans are being drawn, waste collection and treatment services are being strengthened and waste sorting systems are being introduced. Concerning sewage, water treatment plants and laboratories are being rehabilitated and equipped. Lastly, an environmental communication plan is currently under implementation. The Latawama project's activities, which will be completed by 2023, are complementary to a range of other regional initiatives on water, fisheries and transport management. Ultimately, human activities and environmental protection will be able to thrive side by side.